All right, guys, as you can see, I just took a shot at one of my target bucks. He was right at 60 yards, which I know some of you may think is a pretty far shot, but with uh, my crossbow, I'm very confident at that distance. Uh, the shot looked a, a tad back, but I felt pretty confident. The buck took off running uh, to the northwest up through the ridges. So um, after reviewing the shot, I gave him about an hour before I even went and looked for my bolt. As you can see, the blood trail actually looks pretty good. A lot of bubbles in the blood and I trailed him for about 150 yards before I made the call to back out and come back in the next day. This was about the last 10 yards or so of the blood trail before I decided to back out. My wife, my son, and myself came back the next day and started trailing the buck from this point. We made it um, about a quarter mile total from the point of impact um, until we lost blood. The buck bedded down one time, and that was at the very end of the trail where I lost blood. You could tell he had bedded there for quite some time because the bed itself was about the size of my truck hood and he had readjusted numerous times within that bed, leaving small spots of blood throughout that bed, but nothing to be found later on. Here you can see the, the track and that bed was about 30 yards from my property line and unfortunately, um, after messaging the neighbor, they had decided not to give me permission to continue the track um, just to try and find blood on their property because they didn't feel um, the deer was dead yet. And I 100% understand that deer, um, you know, could have been still going at that point. And I have the same concerns when anybody request to trail a deer onto my property. You know, the, the fear of disturbing the hunting on my property um, is always there. So I don't blame them one bit for that. Here I zoomed way in on the video and started playing it frame by frame. When I stop the buck, his head lifts up and his far side front leg comes forward. And here I take the shot, not realizing that leg came forward. Um, so anything other than being very tight against this onside front shoulder would be too far back. You can see the, the bolt through the air and how it drops right in about mid height on the body. Um, my best guess is I, I clipped one lung um, and maybe exited about where the diaphragm is because of the the bubbles in the blood i'm i'm confident i hit a lung um, during the trail there was blood on either side and in the middle so i believe he was bleeding out his mouth and nose a little bit as well and now you can see 62 hours after the shot i have a picture of the buck and obviously still alive uh, i would never guess this deer is alive after seeing where that bolt hit i was using a, a two blade sever robusto has a two inch cut and if you're looking at the the frame by frame video you can see the hole it left um, so it left a good hole in the deer but these, these animals are just amazingly tough 
and I'm dumbfounded how this deer has survived. 